Hi everyone. Through this video, I am going to give a brief overview on the Adobe Experience Manager 6.4 version user interface. Let me log into the system. Here is the UI. So as you see, we have multiple options. So I'm going to enter the inbox to see what are the messages. Okay, as we see here, we have multiple options, uh, multiple messages like configure analytics and target, apply the EM security checklist, enable aggregate UFA statistic collections, configure HTTP, yes. Here we have options to create new tasks. I will not be interested in that. So let me go here. As you see, we have a list of all the Adobe products. When I click on any of this link, it takes me to the corresponding website. And we have a set of help options. As you see here, we have customer care, documentation, show help about Adobe Experience Manager, keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcut is one of the new features which is available in AM 6.4. I'll be talking about it in later time. Also, we have a search box. And nice, we have a set of results. Oh, sorry, the search was happening inside the inbox. So we have results here. Now let me come back. Here is a navigation UA. So in navigation, we have different options like projects, sites, experience fragments, assets, forms, screens, personalization, commerce, and communities. Let me go one by one. So in project section, we have all the existing projects listed here. We have options to create the new project, also the new folder. In site section, we have screens, campaigns, community sites and vRetail. vRetail is the existing demo site. And as you see, we have multiple view options like column view, card view, and list view. When we click on create, we have site creation options, live copy, language copy, catalog, folder, CSV report. Next is the experience fragment. This is the area wherein we create the experience fragments. So we have the configuration of options. We can modify the template paths here. We have create experience fragment, language copy, and folder creation options here. In assets, we have multiple options. We have files, collections, shared links, templates, catalogs, and jobs. In forms, we have forms and documents and themes. The screen section lists the existing screens, so we have where it else in store as of now. In person session, we have options for activities, offers, and audiences. Also, in commerce section, we have catalogs, products, collections, and orders. In communities, we have sites, moderation, reports, resources, groups, and members. All the user community related options are available in this section. The tool section looks quite decent now. We have uh, general options, wherein the CRX DE light and search forms, tagging options, configuration browser, templates, Components, translation configurations are available in general option. 
in workflows we have all the workflow related options like models instances launchers archive failures in operations we have system overview web console testing configuration health reports backup maintenance monitoring diagnostic diagnosis in sites we have blueprints which manages the blueprint configurations we have launches context hub external link checker in asset section we have metadata profiles metadata schemas the stock tools for aem insights configuration reports content fragment models in resources we have documentation developer resources deployment helps to replicate distribute create packages package share topology offloading live fire configurations security is one of the main thing so we have users groups or clients permissions ssl configurations trust store adobe ims configuration all the security related things are available in the security section so in commerce section we have payments method shipping methods cloud services so in cloud services we have legacy cloud services translation cloud services youtube public shin configuration seen seven configuration adobe launch configuration recaptcha type kit facebook social login configuration twitter social login configuration pinterest social login configuration in community section we have storage configuration component guide community functions site templates community badges group templates in next video i'll take you through each of these items in detail so in this section finally i am in this to showcase some of the new features available in aem 6.4 so when we go to the we retail page we have language masters card view so when i select the english so you can see here edit with a bracket e and properties small p in bracket so these are all the shortcut keys available in am6.4 in my next video i'll be talking about am6.4 further hope this video was helpful for you to get a basic understanding of the AEM 6.4 UA my requests are here please let me know your opinion through the comment section if you like this video i request you to encourage me through your likes subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos thank you